Doug here. It's Saturday before uh, Memorial Day. It's Memorial Day weekend. And weather's really nice today. It's 65 degrees, 68. So I decided to come out and uh, test some bullets. Tried all winter to buy some uh, Hornady bullets and it was impossible. And Ron Shirk Shooting Supply had some in stock. So I grabbed 500 of each of the 170 and 165 FTX. 165 FTX is impossible to get, so they look like this. They're uh, a red-tipped bullet. They look really nice, so I wanted to give it a whirl today and see how they were shooting. Um, last year, I loaded up 50 rounds of the uh, 170 spear point by Hornady, and these cases happen to be nickel-plated. I really like that. I don't know that it really makes a lot of difference, but... Um, I used those last year, shot three deer with it, and had very good luck. I've also shot them into milk jugs, which you may have seen before, and they mushroom out very nicely, stay in one piece, and they do a great job. I was a bit disappointed when I fired my first round of uh, 165 FTX into seven milk jugs. It penetrated all seven of them, but the bullet was in two pieces. I had a brass base and a chunk of lead that was left over. I didn't weigh the uh, retained uh, weight on them, but uh, they were probably pretty pretty close to 165, but uh, I don't like bullets coming into one piece. And of course my good old friend here, which is 140 grain 357 diameter FTX, which I shoot out of my 357 Max a lot. Uh, usually we find these in powder when I dig out a deer, uh, but they do, they, they were the first bullet available and that's what I was been using. So. If uh, you folks out there uh, say, hey, you better resize that down to 355. I shoot them out of this Ruger all day long. They do just fine. And I uh, just wanted to run over some numbers really quick. The 165 grain, I loaded with uh, H110. And I got an average speed of 2461. Extreme spread of 85 and standard deviation of 44. My old faithful 170s here, I loaded with little gun, and that average speed is 2280, extreme spread of 110, and a standard deviation of 58. And the 140 357 max bullet, 357 diameter, um, I loaded with uh, H110, 26 and a half grains which by the way is the identical load I use in my 357 Max. That averaged uh, 2533. Extreme spread was 68 with a standard deviation of 34. So I didn't bring a set of calipers with me today but I'll do a, a supplement to this and show you that the, all three of these not only hit exactly where I was aiming, which is great for the gun not being shot for the entire winter, but uh, they're all pretty close to an inch. I know the uh, 165s are definitely below an inch. I'd say the 140s are right there and the 170s are maybe inch and an eighth or so. I'll get that measurement for you later. Dug out. All right, let's talk about the 350 Legend. I'm using a uh, Ruger American carbine. Nothing special. I just changed the trigger down to three pounds, which is real easy to do. One Allen screw. And I've got a uh, six hour three by nine scope on it. And uh, really works nice, nice and clear. So we talked about the uh, shells that we shot. Let's just take a look at them. So. This is the uh, 165 grain FTX bullet. And I'm using 27 grains of H110. Average speed is 2467, which is really good. And that show, shot a .940 group, nice triangle, slightly left. 
Next one I shot was the 170. That is a 28 grains of little gun. Use these numbers at your own discretion, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not responsible. Average speed 2280 on this one. And I've gotten better groups than that out of that one. So uh, when you shoot three shots and they land where they land, you can brag about them or you can curse them. You decide. And then this is the 140 grain 357 diameter round that I use in my 357 Max. And that uh, was an average speed of 2533 shot a lot of deer with that with my 357 max speeds are about the same i've got a 22 inch barrel on my thompson center on that one and i have stoned a lot of deer with that including white tine which is probably the biggest buck i've ever shot he ran about 100 yards straight at me by the way i was up in a tree shot him he ran straight at me and died at my feet so that was pretty cool that shot a 1.3 inch group uh not much wind really and uh turned out okay dug out